Today, we want to cover a commonly discussed subject, dry piston vacuum pumps versus oil lubricated rotary vane vacuum pumps. There are three main differences between the dry and oil lubricated vacuum pumps. One being air removal, two being overall volume, and lastly, lifespan. So stay tuned to learn more about that. Here we have an oil lubricated rotary vane vacuum pump chamber vacuum sealer. And just to quickly cover that, we not every chamber vacuum sealer in the market has an oil pump in it. Some have dry piston pumps, so bear that in mind. Alternatively known as maintenance free pumps. Over here we have your generic edge suction external vacuum sealer that a lot of you are probably pretty familiar with. Um, you'll use those embossed textured vacuum seal bags and rolls inside this. Uh, some common companies are Food Saver, Weston, Avid Armor, Meet Your Maker, and a few more. Cabela's, I think, is another one. So these typically host the maintenance free dry piston pumps inside of them. So let's go ahead and get into the three differences. Okay, so our primary difference is air removal. The quantity of air removal helps in achieving the best shelf life you can in a product. The first reason to consider an oil lubricated vacuum pump over a dry piston vacuum pump is air removal. Dry vacuum pumps in chamber vacuum sealers tend to pull roughly 90% of the oxygen out of a package. Now, dry piston pumps in edge suction and external vacuum sealers pull as low as 80% of the air out of a singular pouch. However, oil pumps in a chamber vacuum sealer can pull a minimum of 99.8% of the oxygen out of a package. Now that is up to a 19.8% air removal difference when comparing a simple food saver style unit to our JVR VAC100 chamber vacuum sealer or any vacuum sealer in our VAC series line. The next difference is overall volume. And it's the second reason to consider an oil lubricated rotary vane vacuum pump over a dry piston pump. Oil lubricated pumps run much quieter on average than dry piston pumps do. The difference between Oil and dry pumps is roughly 20 decibels when comparing an edge sealer versus a chamber vacuum sealer with an oil pump in it. That's an astounding difference, I would say. Need a unit that will not disrupt the peace of your home or ongoing phone calls? Probably. Consider an oil lubricated rotary vane vacuum pump chamber vacuum sealer. Now this is not one of the biggest selling points between the two, but this next one is, and that would be lifespan. Before we discuss the last difference between dry and oil lubricated vacuum pumps, it's important to know the price ranges for units with different style pumps. Units with oil pumps tend to be higher in price, roughly $900, when compared to a dry pump unit, which can range from 100 maybe to 600 bucks roughly. You can get some that are 50 bucks or lower. Additionally, many of the cheaper dry pump units also advertise machines as maintenance free, which sounds great when compared to a maintenance pump such as an oil lubricated one. If you are sealing moisture free products such as dry beans and rice, maintenance free pumps will serve you well. Let's be real. However, if you plan to package products that contain moisture, such as steaks, briskets, chicken, salmon, those type of things, maintenance-free pumps then become an issue. If moisture enters a dry piston vacuum pump and gets trapped inside, a corrosion process can occur internally. Unfortunately, when this happens, no maintenance can be done as suggested in that original name to stop this process. However, in an oil lubricated rotary vane vacuum pump, 
These were designed to require regular maintenance. In turn, it provides a longer lifespan for your chamber vacuum sealer. When moisture enters an oil pump, it mixes with the oil. When the oil reaches a certain temperature, the oil and water can separate, and the moisture is then expelled through the exhaust. Therefore, this process promotes an almost moisture-free pump with a much longer lifespan. And a couple ways to just get the oil out of there would be one, uh, run your routine maintenance uh, of cleanup program on a VAC 100 or just running the unit hard. And two, make sure that you're doing the routine oil changes. Now, we have personally witnessed dry piston pump chamber vacuum sealers that sell for around $600 uh, break nine months after purchase, which is pretty rough. JVR Industries has witnessed oil pumps and chamber vacuum sealers lasting over 30 plus years with rigorous use and proper care. Now this was in a commercial grade product and we would consider this somewhat commercial grade and a lot of people would. This is definitely more of our economical line, but we have seen these vacuum pumps last more than 10 plus years and they're still running rigorously. So that's definitely a testament to these pumps lasting a very long time, especially when compared to high moisture usage in a dry piston pump. Now I understand a lot of you are probably thinking to yourself, well, I've had my unit for 10 plus years. I've had one of those Cabela's for 10 plus years. I've had one of these food saver style units for 10 plus years. Now there are units out there that do last. Uh, people are just really preventative with the siphoning effect with liquids, or they're just doing drier products in general. Um, that does happen, but in general, this is what we're speaking about. General lifespan of these units tends to be quite a bit lower than these chamber vacuum sealers. We've seen these fail within a week, a few months. We've also seen people replace these units 15 times over and then get tired of it and switch over to a chamber vac. So we are mostly speaking out of generality. We do understand that there are units out there that survive a much longer time, but they tend to be more of a rarity. Now, one other thing that's a hot topic is the difference in chamber vacuum pouches and vacuum seal bags for these units. We actually have a video on that. I'll put that right up here. So make sure you go watch that before uh, you end this video. Now, before I let you guys go, feel free to hit that subscribe button below as well as the bell so you can be notified on future content like this. Feel free to check out the VAC News article that's related to this topic and many other topics that we're covering via our VAC News articles on our website. Thanks so much guys for tuning in to JVR Industries on YouTube. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call or you can email us. Uh, you can find all of our contact information right on our website. Well, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.